Let's take a look at the ionic charge for cobalt, CO. So first off, when we find cobalt on the periodic table, it doesn't have a negative or positive sign after it. That's because the elements on the periodic table, they're neutral. The number of protons equals the number of electrons. So cobalt, just CO, that's neutral. So its charge would be zero. But cobalt does form ions. The two main ions are the cobalt-3 ion, that's CO3+, plus, and then cobalt-2, CO2+. Plus. For the cobalt-3 ion, we've lost three electrons. So electrons are negative. If you lose three negative charges, you get a 3+. Plus. The cobalt-2, that lost two electrons. So we have a 2+, plus ionic charge. You might ask, where did these electrons go? Well, if we had cobalt here that lost two electrons, something like chlorine, it'll gain an electron. It'll become chlorine one minus, the chloride ion. So two plus, we need two of these chloride ions balance the charge out. So cobalt chloride is what we would end up with when this cobalt lost two electrons to chlorine. Likewise, if we had CO3 plus and we had the chloride ion, we need three of them for the charge to balance. So the cobalt would lose three electrons to the three chlorine atoms there. So the electrons are lost in bonding normally when cobalt forms ions. Note that we could lose more than three, it's just that these are the more common ions that form when cobalt loses electrons to form ions. Note also that ionic charge is different than oxidation number. There's a lot of overlap, but they are different things. This is Dr. V with the ionic charge for cobalt. Thanks for watching.